Hey yo, quick video about Serena Williams and um, Naomi Osaka and also the um, Australian um, cartoonist that made that controversial video. Um, basically, I'm going to get into it from the angle that, you know, piss a lot of people off about masculinity and femininity and how Serena Williams be looking like a nigga you used to tip cows over with. And I know it's not a nice thing to say, but... You know, people be making it fun and shit like that, you know, like, it happens, um, <laughs> I also heard a woman say, you know, Serena Williams wouldn't, a black woman that's on, in the comment section that said she wouldn't necessarily be the ideal woman you want to put forth as, um, you know, the woman to advocate for, um, you know, black woman sex appeal and such, you know, <laughs> but, Yo, she acted that way at the Grand Slam. She lost. She lost her temper. And she was illustrated and made out to look very bad. Like, obviously, she don't have that much of a big lip. And she she didn't stick her tongue out like that. And she doesn't look like a baboon and an ape and all of that. But it's that old crap, you know, that old um, Jim Crow bullshit, you know? Making black people look like that sambo, you know, racist shit. And... But at the same time, it's still an illustration until the victor goes to spoil. Like the umpire that was illustrated in the picture saying, would you just let her win already, you know, to Osaka. And Osaka having those blonde light features, like she was in the background of the cartoon. Yo, don't get mad at me. I understand. Like, bro, it's just you can't make so much out of a cartoon. It's it's not about the cartoon. It's about the article. Did a lot of people read the article? It's it's gonna have an image. It's gonna have a stance. And yes, it's probably gonna be more of a white stance. But that's what happened. And you know, when there's issues like this where people act a little bit outrageous and it becomes controversial and it has something to do with a black person or a black woman, it gets a little bit blown out of proportion. Is it racist? I mean, can a person have a job? Can a person be an illustrator? Can a person be an artist? Can a person tell fairy tales? Like, if it was up to... I don't want to be the sort of person where if it was up to me, nobody could, you know, talk about have comic books, have, um, you know, illustration, have um, basically you your fairy tales. Like, you know, like, you got to think about that sometimes. What, do you want to stop that person from eating from having a livelihood and whatever like he portray other tennis players like that as well I don't know what it is about tennis about those people getting so mad and breaking their racket but it, it's happened not only to her and other people and she lost and she didn't get portrayed um, with the best image and that image kind of sums it up and it, it unfortunately brings up a little bit raw emotions and people because <laughs> the way it looks and <laughs> maybe that was that guy's um job you know unfortunately i don't know if he wanted to do it he probably had pictures where he threw out whereas some person like you said this things get um um you know somebody in the in the I guess maybe look over that, have an oversight and said this isn't strong enough, do another um, <laughs> artistic work and whatnot. You know, like I'm not trying to justify it, but at the end of the day, even African art, African art has the same sort of thing where they portray black people with the big bold features and stuff like that. So how do you make a compromise in a civilization and, and, and such where um, in North American society where you know why people can't illustrate art or illustrate things they see fit um you know we are people we have to live somewhat together at the end of the day and people are going to continue to work in their professional fields um i i wouldn't necessarily say to call for this guy's head and like let's off him and whatnot you know look now i i never even knew mark um knight before this now his name is out there now and it's getting publicized as such that's just how the world works like everybody has an opinion on something and it's just your opinion I'm not gonna um, tell you to necessarily have take my opinion and run with it you could think for yourself you could want to be you could believe whatever you want to believe me also being a big black guy like I don't experience racism as frequently as some people and that's not to take away from what some people experience and such you know but like that's why I think for myself though and I'm my own personal um, I have my own personal views, and you should too, you know, and yeah, I, I would never take anything away from someone who feels like they've been wrong for them to protest and do what they do. I always take the stance, like even for people like Rosa Parks, if it wasn't for her, 
I could be in shackles and chain right now. So I might have even anybody it is like you don't especially me as a black person i can't be upset about people protesting regarding even trivial sort of things